as we did yesterday this is our setup to the ball okay and we've got emily out so we've got ellie and go julie in the front post is here emma in the hole in the front post this is two clips okay of something that they do how we kind of then um counter that and a little bit of what we did against style power, power on the ball yes Karen on the ball right now go like she's one v one pretty much go get in behind them and here's what we do here. This was us at the start of the season. This was us when we, we come back from the breaking test guard. Three. One to our marker. Two. Notice one of the times with your mark, just going to be a person. Yes. Okay, on the pitch, we'll do a wee jog. We'll do a warm up five minutes. We need to get some high speed sprints in. Uh, five minutes on the cell here. Don't worry, it's to me 20 yards. Then we'll do the pass and drill um, in the three zones. Then we'll do the pattern of the cell base. Okay? Obviously, Captain Ball at home uh, next. Um, always a big game, but this game extra special. Yes, um, it's probably the game that everyone's been looking forward to, and, and the game that we're looking forward to because we um, love the big challenge, and that's why you play football. So, um, it's a game that um, it will be exciting. Um, one that we know that we just have to put in a good performance, and, and hopefully the result goes our way because we all know that we can kick on straight after uh, this game once we get the great result. Right? And the only thing that makes 
to me so proud is we've got more to give. We're now in the second year. We've got so much more to give. We've got two more years to go. Would you agree? Yeah. 100% ready to go. All we got to do is start playing our way. But playing our way in little spurts isn't the right thing to do. Game of two halves, it's, it's that simple. Um, I thought the players tonight in the second half were absolutely phenomenal. I think their character was second to none. Um, it just shows you the experience that comes through, their mindsets, um, the leadership that we've got literally from front to back. Uh, we had to make changes that you know we, we didn't want to make and I thought um, that we all stepped up when they needed to step up and I literally um, couldn't thank my players enough for, for, for the performance they put in tonight. And Kerry Beatty nerves are still. How are your nerves on the, the touchline whenever that penalty is awarded? I think that I'm glad that she hit the penalty and I didn't. And sometimes I don't like to watch, but I really wanted to watch. I wanted to enjoy the occasion. And you know what, Kerry Beatty to step up at 21 years old and take that penalty in a, a big game just shows you exactly who she is as a player and a person. Um, and every single player around her tonight absolutely backed her. And I hope she felt that. Watching the players coming off there, it felt like they wanted to win it tonight. Um, two games remaining and one cup final. Do you have to sort of lift the players now? I think so, yes. I, I think the minute they, they've got such a winning mindset that they would feel like they've lost tonight. And actually, I think that we've won. Um, anything that we did tonight but lose is exactly what we wanted. And it's up to me now to go back into the dressing room, get back under the training pitch and pick the players up and get them to believe in themselves that they didn't lose it. And they, yes, they draw, but we didn't get it what we wanted tonight. But if we continue to keep doing what we're doing, we'll get it in the end. And that's all that matters. We never came to take shortcuts. We're here for the long haul and we'll continue until the last day of the season. Thank you, Kim. All right, thank you. Well in the second half, but we've got a long way to go, we've got to get back to the train train, we've got to get ourselves right, and we've got to go next week, and we've got to really leave really after, we'll take this the whole way, because that's what we want to go, let's go, come on, 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 come
emotions at the moment? Mixed emotions but it's like almost like relief in a way. I think that all the hard work that we've put in, the dedication, the sacrifice, you know, the four nights a week training, the pre-season, the pre-season pre within training, you know, we, we, we continue to keep the girls fit throughout and I think it's, it's just amazing that we're, we're finally going over the line and I thought the girls were fantastic today in the second half and it's a season that they truly deserve to win. Yeah, I may have won this league before but came back here today, two goals. Yeah, it feels good. I think this year we had a point to prove. Um, and I think maybe last week we let ourselves down in terms of our performance, but I think today, especially in the second half, we proved why we should be champions. I thought the support today was brilliant, you know, especially all the, the young kids coming out to, to support the lanes, and I think that's the way it should be. You know, I think women's football has grown a lot in the last season or two, and hopefully that continues. So hopefully they'll come next week and once it's definitely. We, we, will, we will celebrate, but we'll, you know, we'll celebrate behind closed doors and we'll still be professional about it as well. You know, we'll train next week. We've still got a league game. You know, I've not rode off the league um, one game at all all season and we want to go out with a win. We, you know, we have a chance to go unbeaten here um, and that's just another one of our goals and we can do that. So, you know, we have a long way to go before the Irish Cup, so let's get this week over us and then we'll prepare for the Irish Cup.
like, uh, yeah, it was a long time ago, I think, the first one, but I think with every one, it's just got better. I mean, it's just, you strive to get another one, and when you get it, you're just grateful for the chance to have that opportunity. And again, tonight's been amazing. It's moved on so much. I think the first one, we were winning it maybe on a pitch in Cherryfield somewhere, and somewhere along there. But now, I mean, look at the, the media, everything around it, the support, everything's so different. But again, it's just an amazing opportunity, and I'm so glad for the girls that have got over I think now when you go on beating in this league now it's so special because you have to be on your game week in week out and again it's another opportunity for us to go on beating tonight and we took it um, I think that's credit to every single one of the girls and the squad and the coaches because we've been prepared every game throughout the year and I think we've been out and given a good account of ourselves. <laughs> Tony Lee Finnegan spraying it out. Maxwell. Maxwell for Callahan. Callahan has a look to see if there was anyone in the box. She just held it up because there wasn't. Kirsty McGuinness back towards Callahan. Callahan across. It's in. McGuinness touches it home and gives Cliftonville the lead. But is the flag up? It is. It was a good move. It was a good finish, but it won't count. Here comes. Callahan, who did so well in the build-up. Kirsty McGuinness is the target. It bounces kindly for McGuinness. McGuinness misses the target. She did everything right except the finish. Andrews is giving some kind of signal. Whether or not that actually means anything, I'm not sure. Vance was giving a signal as well. Norney comes out to meet it. She hasn't. Can they bundle it home? No, they can't. But it is another corner. Colwell is not happy. But that's the best chance for Glen Torrance so far. Let's have a look. Okay. We do this all the time, we've got another game. We need to find it, okay? There's nothing tactical to do. Every time she moves, I want you to be one step ahead of her. I want you to move <coughs> with her, okay? Same as the midfield. But we're too reactive, okay? When they move, we move with them, okay? But what we're doing is they're moving, and the ball's moving, and then we're moving. Every time they move, we move with we move with them and then the next person moves, okay? We don't react to the ball, okay? Look, loads of positive. Look, loads of positive we haven't started yet, okay? And all that's going to happen is we need more movement off the ball, brave movement. Do you believe you can do this? Yes, yes, yes. 
Yeah. Oh, that's right. We've got another here. Just we, 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 we spoke about it. We've got more success. It, 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 it takes us 35 And we rode the wave. You have to ride the wave. That's the, we're not going to be on the ball all the time. But we rode the wave. We've got to be got capitalise on the other side. Okay? But we've got to be brave on the ball. When we're brave on the ball, our quality hasn't been good. Yeah. We've got to be, have more quality on the ball as well. Okay? Yeah. Move it. Play it how we played it. When was it? The Monday session? Where we were playing attack against the fence? And I'm like, you're good. You are so good. Go and show that. Go and show the crowd that. Go and do it, okay? We've got 45 minutes off the ball. We've got to be safe. We've got to be uh, conservative. <coughs> on the ball, let me, we let the we let go. We open up, we play, we press, we get our body up. We go and play and look at the championship side to go win this in 45 minutes. Oh, God, we <laughs> Bance has Caldwell with her. Caldwell outside. Two in the box, including Beattie and Andrews. Andrews tries to get there. It falls for Beattie. Beattie! She has buried it! Glentoran with the first chance of the second half. Glentoran with the first goal of the second half. And no surprise that it comes from the boot of Kerry Beattie. Just under the scoreboard there, I'm sure Andrews had a wee look up. She's not rushing anything, trying to make sure she manages the game. It's a decent looking cross. And the header, oh, it's gone in, or has it? Yes, it has. The header from McMaster somehow finds its way into the back of the net. And it's looking very, very good for Glen Torren, who are looking to complete the five in a row. McMaster makes it 2 0. Headed clear, Carlton running to try and win it back. And going down was Vance, and it's a red card for Carlton. It didn't look as dangerous in live play, but you can see yeah. it now. Intercepted by Foy, and Foy sees that Vance is free. Trying to get uh, two Vance's, McGee. The ball has rolled through, it might come for Weir. Rogan is there as well, here's Weir. Weir has Rogan behind her, pulls it back, Rogan! And that puts the cherry on top for Glen Torren. You said she was a super sub who was capable of getting goals. She showed it there, and she has shown it in the cup final. Cliftonville nil, Glen Torren three. Glen Torren will win the double, and they will make it five in a row.
fun. She'll share this moment with the team, and what a moment it is. Glen Torren, the cup champions. Uh, it'll be like delighted bingo later. How many times did she <laughs> yeah. say delighted? I just I seen Kelsey sort of backtracking and you know I used to score a lot of goals sort of that way where I would backtrack off but I'm used to running to the front post now I just thought I'll take a gamble because I haven't had a chance in the game and the gamble paid off I was able to take a touch thankfully and then just place it. Well, if I can bring you back to this night last year. The hard work starts now for me personally it's been a long year and um, I do need a rest but as soon as I've got that maybe a week or two, I'm going to get back straight on it because I didn't score as many goals as I wanted this season, didn't perform the way I wanted to, and maybe that's down to a long year, I don't know, but it's time to get my, my the ball back in the net. Are you able to kind of take a bit of time now to be able to reflect on the year and the hard work it has gone in and, and the success that's come from it? Yes, I think more than last year I'll be able to sort of take a wee break now and then um, just really reflect on the past year. You know, last year I was obviously not myself and, and this year I've been able to pick myself back up and, and go at it again. So, well-earned break and, and then I'll start hard work again. Let's give you a